Welcome to Commonwealth Literature. Introduction, Unit 1. What is a Commonwealth? The term Commonwealth was first used by Oliver Cromwell in 1649. Now, if you recall what you studied in the last semester, you can understand that Oliver Cromwell comes under social history of England and he was the military leader during the civil war in the 17th century. The civil war between King Charles I and his parliamentarians. When Oliver Cromwell was given the throne of England in 1649, he coined the term Commonwealth to include Scotland under the flag of England. Today, the Commonwealth is a group of 54 countries that are in a political alliance. These countries were once under the colonial British rule. The London Declaration of 1949 recognized all these countries as free and equal and have given equal rights to all the countries. If you look at the map over here, you can see that the Commonwealth countries are shaded in yellow. And of course, India is also one of the Commonwealth countries. Now, what is Commonwealth literature? This is literature written and published in countries that were once colonies and ruled by Britain. These books are published only in English. They are either from countries where English is spoken as the native first language, like Australia, New Zealand, of Canada or they may be from countries where India is taught and learned as a second language but English is not the mother tongue of these countries for example India, West Indies and African states like Kenya, Nigeria or Tanzania. The common themes for Commonwealth literature includes corruption, political problems, identity crisis, exploitation or slavery in the form of modern employment, poverty, post-colonial problems of oppression, even after independence, and lack of governance skill. There is another term for Commonwealth literature. It is also called as New World Literature. Sometimes, writings that belong to Commonwealth literature are also categorized under post-colonial writings. You need not be confused because post-colonial literature is mostly written in the native language and later translated into English, whereas Commonwealth literature publishes English books only. Post-colonial texts are totally against westernization. They stand for their own rights, they worship their culture and they are in praise of their native culture. Whereas, Commonwealth texts may be against the native culture and they may even praise westernization. Now, when we learn about Commonwealth literature, we have to learn about Third World literature also because both are identical, almost. Now, when we say First World, this refers to totally developed countries like the USA. And second world was coined during the Cold War period to refer to Russia. And the countries that are neither first world nor second world belong to third world. And the term third world was coined by economist Alfred Sauvin to refer to lands of poverty, starvation and poor sanitation. So he coined third world as a negative term. And most of the Commonwealth writings come under third world category. If you look at the map here, you can see that the developed or first world countries are highlighted in dark blue. So we have Australia over here, we have Europe and we have the United States of America. These are the first world countries. Second world countries, we have Russia over here and the orange and red indicate third world countries. The red indicates countries that are suffering poverty, water crisis, starvation, scarcity, 
so most of the African countries are under red. These are some of the popular Commonwealth writers that you are going to come across in this paper. So under India, we have the popular R.K. Narayan, we have Nisim Ezekiel, the poet, we have Anika Desai, Kiran Desai, mother and daughter novelists, and under Africa, we have the famous Chinua Achidi, Olay Soinka, Yugiwa Tiongo, and Patrick White, the famous Australian writer. We have Duncan Campbell Scott, Canadian poet, and Margaret Atwood, the novelist. We have Derek Walcott from West Indies, and we have the short story writer Catherine Mansfield from New Zealand, and poets like Razia Khan, Ahmad Ali from Pakistan. Now, this is not a complete list. This is only the most important writers. Thank you for watching this video on Commonwealth. Hope you enjoyed it.